And we know upwards of 1 million people are expected to visit our state for this eclipse. Logan Gay, she talked to some of the folks who made this trip and gives us a look inside a couple of the popular eclipse viewing spots. We all know IMS is home to the biggest spectacle in racing, but on Monday they're hoping to turn race fans into space fans. Oh my gosh, eclipses and race cars. Can you have any more cool stuff happening in one day? Nikki Rail and her family traveled all the way here from Washington, D.C. to experience a phenomenon that is out of this world, a total solar eclipse. They plan to see it right here at IMS. Of course, it's on the path of totality and we have a long duration of totality here in Indy. She works for NASA as a scientist and she's here to study the eclipse. It's not only her first time in Indy, but it's also her first time seeing a total solar eclipse. A lot of firsts and oh my gosh, it's been what 800 years since an eclipse in Indy and another 100 after this. So what an incredible event for the community. IMS is expecting 50,000 people to fill these seats from all 50 states and 26 countries. But instead of looking at the famous track, they'll all be looking up. Yeah, so this is, you know, an incredible phenomena for so many people across the country to see, but it's also incredible for science. So we can visualize the corona or the outer atmosphere of the sun, which we can't usually see in the presence of visible light, but it's an incredible time for our, everyone here on Earth to be able to observe this. But IMS is not the only place people are planning to watch the eclipse. Just a few miles away, people arrived early to camp on the fairgrounds. The fairgrounds has a family-friendly environment with entertainment, activities, and an unobscured view of the eclipse. But for one family, the most important thing it will provide are the memories. The most impressive from the last one was just uh, in August with the uh, with the eclipse happening, all the animals going silent and, and everything just being eerie. I think it'll be something that he'll remember. A memory that will last a lifetime. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News. Again. And if you are still in the market for a pair of Eclipse glasses, here is what you need to know before you buy. Now you can verify the glasses have the proper UV protection by looking for the ISO label that you see there on your screen. That's usually one of the on the inside of those glasses. You can also test the glasses out inside. Just hold your phone's flashlight in front of the glasses briefly. If the glasses work correctly, you should see a very, very, very dim light.